The Afternoon Drive with Aaron Delatore. Your hometown station. 98.1 FM and AM 1220. 319 coming up on 320 here on Keach. Yes, we got a busy, busy show. Only going until 4 o'clock tonight. Dodgers back at it in Baltimore. Ross Stripling takes the mound. First pitch, 4.05 here on KHTS. It is 9-11, so we'll also be playing some patriotic music to honor and remember the lives lost on this devastating day. Pay tribute to the first responders and the families who are still continuing to suffer to this day. So that is coming up on KHTS in just a couple uh, moments. But right now, KHTS News is Michael Brown joins me in studio. Mike, what's happening, dude? Hey, how's it going, Aaron? It's going, it's going. I, you know, I'm not a motorcycle man. My dad rode a motorcycle. It was, I was probably eight years old. He told me to take it, or he told me the story of him wiping out once, and that was it. I, I've been out on motorcycles ever since then. One drives down the street right now. I can hear it in my headphones. <laughs> I don't get the appeal. It's very dangerous. Uh, are you a motorcycle guy yourself? I despise motorcycles. I actually lost a really good friend of mine uh, in high school to a motorcycle crash. He was really? driving solo crash. I'm glad that you bring that up uh, because we have in studio with us today Officer Josh Greengard with the California Highway Patrol Newhall office. Josh, how you doing? Doing good. Afternoon, guys. Thanks for having me here. Now, for those at home who may not know, what kind of area does the Newhall office cover with California Highway Patrol? So the CHP Newhall area, we have 674 square miles of jurisdiction. We cover anything from the 5 freeway, from the 118 all the way to Gorman, the 14 from the 5 all the way to Red Rover Mine. We have some of the 126 from where the 5 starts all the way to the county line. And we have a lot of county roads, uh, San Francisco, Bouquet Canyon, some of the old road, some of the Sierra Highway, um, and yeah, it's it's a fairly big area for what we have. Gotcha. And are you a motorcycle guy? Uh, not so much. I like to ride mountain bikes. Oh, but I think more of our listeners are wondering which sections of the freeway doesn't the CHP cover. Uh, yeah, <laughs> where can they get away with idea. speeding? All of them. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, going on then, uh, we've been talking about here motorcycles, kind of teasing this out. That's why we uh, asked you to come today. We want to talk about motorcycle safety, just kind of to provide some context for our listeners. Um, what's the number of crashes uh, look like um, for involving motorcycles this year? So this year, 2019, just as the, this is the Newhall area only, we have 62 total crashes um, that involve motorcycles. We have... 2,176 crashes total in our area, but 62 of those were motorcycle involved. So it's a relatively low volume of crashes, but we were talking a little bit earlier. That doesn't necessarily mean, uh, that's not necessarily a great statistic though, right? Yeah. I mean, they're still, they're still getting in crashes. Uh, the, the number one statistic is how many injuries out of those 62 crashes. And, um, I ran the numbers and it was 53 injuries resulted out of 62 crashes, which, I'm not a very good math person, but that seems pretty pretty high. You know, uh, if you look at it as as other crashes that we have, like car crashes, vehicle crashes, um, we have, like I said, a total of 2,176, and out of those, 660 were injury crashes. So that's about a third or so. So just you know, to kind of summarize all those numbers, 90% or so, like motorcycle crashes have an injury as a result, where it's just a normal crash involving just a car, bus, whatever, that's like less than a third is what it's sounding like result in some sort of injury. Yes, that's, ex- that's exactly what it is. Gotcha. Now, um, what's causing the, you know, what are some of the chief causes of uh, motorcycle crashes? Obviously, we've got impaired driving and uh, distracted driving, but we were talking a little bit earlier about things like lane splitting and such. Could you maybe get into that? Yeah, speed and lane splitting are, are some of the main causes. Uh, you have your distracted driving where a vehicle pulls out in front of somebody. It's going to happen and that's be distracted, and, and unfortunately, it does happen. But as far as, as speed, speed is definitely a factor with the motorcycles. The faster you go, the greater chance you are to get uh, injured, especially on a motorcycle. Uh, and then you have lane splitting. Um, lane splitting is legal in California. Jerry Brown signed the, signed the assembly bill in 2016 saying that lane splitting was, was legal. But you got to do it still with due caution for yourself, right? Uh, traffic's moving 5, 10 miles an hour, then totally, yeah, lane split five miles an hour faster than what the what the freeway speeds are doing five ten miles an hour um but if if freeway is moving 60 65 miles an hour then it's totally not safe to lane split mm-hmm. right uh on top of the speed limit only being 65 miles an hour on the freeway if you're lane splitting and the freeway is moving at 65 miles an hour well you're you're exceeding the speed limit maximum speed limit but on top of that there's a a lot bigger chance of you getting in a crash because vehicles aren't going to really think or maybe even see you if you're 
if you're lane splitting at that kind of speed, right? Yeah. Is it tougher to pull over a motorcycle? Do you find that a lot of motorcyclists kind of take the uh, the chance of of Making a go for it? Uh, yeah, sometimes, but I mean, they don't realize that we have a lot of helicopters up. If we don't, <laughs> yeah, right. If we don't have a helicopter up, then the sheriffs have a helicopter up, and if the sheriffs don't have a helicopter up, then LAPD has a helicopter up. I mean, there's tons of helicopters, and on top of that, we have motor officers that work out of our area, so you never know how far up the road they're going to be if if something like that happened where I wasn't able to split lanes because right. I'm in a car. I just call my beat partner, who's a motorcyclist, and. He can easily do the same thing as that. So, It is the Afternoon Drive with Aaron Del Torre. We have KHTS News' Michael Brown. Today we are joined in studio by a literal authority on the matter of traffic safety and roadway etiquette. He is CHP's Josh Greengard joining us in studio. Have you given out any tickets today? Uh, no, I didn't give any tickets out. Um, my, my job... Uh, public information officer, I I just do this, right? I uh, deal a lot with the media. I deal a lot with the schools and anything else that comes up. So so what's today look like for you then? Uh, today, uh, like I said, a public information officer, I'm also in charge of community outreach. So I don't know if you guys know this, the sheriffs are having their uh, annual chili cook-off at Pitch's Detention Center. Uh, I know you guys ran a story last year of the CHP Newhall area winning People's Choice Awards for our <laughs> for our chili cook off. So we had a mandatory chefs meeting, and I'm, <laughs> I'd like to say I'm one of the chefs. So we had one of that this morning, and then I just had some office stuff I had to deal with, and now and now I'm here. Awesome. Now I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you this since we got you here in studio and we have you on air. Mm-hmm. What's the craziest story that you can recount, either that you experienced or a buddy of yours told with the California Highway Patrol just on duty? What's the craziest thing? Oh, it's going to be a pursuit. I mean, unfortunately or fortunately, how you look at it, pursuits are are very, very uh, exciting and they're very, very dangerous. So it'd have to be one of the countless pursuits that I was in when I, I did work the road and push the black and white up and down the streets. And how long ago was it that you were you were doing that? Uh, so I worked the road from 2008 to 2016, 2017. So seven or eight years I worked the road, and then I got this position for the last couple. So. And you spent most of your time in CHP here in the Newhall area, right? Yeah. I was born and raised in Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, transferred out here in 2010. I did a couple of years in West L.A., and then uh, this is home for me. So I know a lot of people here, and uh, you know I want to commu- keep the community safe because I-, I live out here, right? Right. One last question before we let you go, um, just to bring it all full circle. What are some things that motorists, motorcyclists, anybody who's on the freeway, what can they be doing to – make sure that they're taking you know, the safe precautions and making sure that there's less crashes on the road. Yeah, we well, got to remember, everyone on the freeway is going to a destination, whether it be to their mom's or dad's works, wherever they're going, they want to get there safely, right? No one has the intentions of wanting to hurt or get in a crash. So you have to, um, you have to take that responsibility, whether you're in a motorcycle or a car, to just share the road and to do your due diligence, pay attention to the road, and just drive safe. Awesome. Well, that's all I got, Aaron. You want to ask him here? That's it. Ask him about your traffic tickets? Uh, No, no. (laughs) Not today. Thank you, Michael Brown, KHTS News. Go to hometownstation.com for all the latest news in and around the SCV. want to thank CHP's Josh Greengard, the public information officer. Is there a website we can go to to keep up on all the latest news? Uh, You can always follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram at at CHP Newhall um, or on our Facebook, which is also at CHP Newhall. At CHP Newhall across social media. Thanks so much for coming in. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. Traffic coming up.